Hello friends, I'm Maynard from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our video tutorial series on StatPro. So friends, in the previous video, we had completed our model of our G plus 1 building. So in this video, we'll assign the properties of beams and columns to our models. So let's get started. So first of all, I'll go to general. When clicking on general, I'll see that my properties window has been opened. So in the properties window, I'll first select some properties. For that, I'll go to define and I'll go to rectangle. So let's define my properties for the columns. So the columns I want of 250mm into 250mm. So I'll insert 0.25 into 0.25. So I'll add this for my column. And for my bottom beam, I also want 0.25 into 0.25. So I'll again just change some of this and then add. So this is for my bottom beam at the plate level. And for the top beams, I want my properties as 300 into 250. That is for the depth, I want 300 and the width, I want 250. So YD, I'll enter as 300 or 0 0.300 and for the Z I want 250 so I'll add this and then I can close this window so after closing this window first of all I'll assign the properties for my columns so I'll select the first one 0.25 into 25 that is for my columns and then I'll go to select and then I'll go to beams parallel to Y so see all the columns have been selected. Now I'll go to assign to selected beams and then and then yes. See the properties of all the columns have been selected. So now I want to assign the properties for my beams at the ground floor level and first floor level. So first of all I'll click left click out so that it unselects and then I'll select 0.30 into 0.25 that is the property which I had defined for my beams at the ground floor level and the first floor level. So I'll simply go to the front view and then I'll select my beams at the ground floor slab level and then, then by pressing ctrl I'll again select this and I'll, by pressing ctrl I'll again select this for my headroom. Now in my 3D view I can find that all my beams for the ground floor, first floor and headroom have been selected. Now I'll just click on assign beams and then yes. So now the properties for my entire model has been given. Now I want to assign some supports. For that I'll go to general and then support. Now I want to create a support. Now I'll create fixed support because we are considering monolithic construction. So I'll just click on add. So support has been added. I'll just select this and then I'll go to the front view and then just I'll just select this and then I'll go to the 3D view. See all the nodes of the base level have been selected. And I'll just click on assign to selected nodes and then yes. So my supports have been given. So friends in this video we have, we had seen that how to assign properties to our beams columns and how to add supports to our model. So in the upcoming videos, we'll move to the loading and analysis part. So friends, please let us know your feedback to this video in the comment section. And you can also let us know if you want any new video series on any new software or in any topic related to civil engineering. So don't forget to share it with your friends and do hit the like button if you found this video useful. So see you in the upcoming video. Bye bye.